I'm an idiot. Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, man, may the crack be with you. I don't know how that happened. Okay, in my defense here, I don't, okay, I don't really have much defense. But when you type in Vinland, there's a lot of pictures of Greenland that pop up for some reason because apparently they're right next to each other. I, that doesn't make it, that does not at all make this a substantial excuse, but I'm, uh, I'm just going to move on. We're going to move on. <laughs> I know where Vinland is. At least I think I know where Vinland is. I, I, uh, I don't know. Okay. So there are whales over here in Iceland. That's, that's good because uh, I'm starting to notice that there are no luxury resources here in Scandinavia. We're kind of screwed out of luxury resources. I'm going to get dyes up online, so that'll be nice from Scotland. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, Denmark better watch out, boy. You better watch it there, Denmark. Okay, so let's find Vinland. Let's find Vinland. Um, let's see. I'm guessing it's somewhere, somewhere down here. It has to be. There there it is, Drew. There you go. Okay, come on. That was confusing, man. That was confusing. JR, hey, look at this. Look at J.R.R. Tolkien. Not all who wander are lost. What does that have to do with Vinland? What is that? Well, I guess wandering. The Maybe the Vikings knew what they, what they were doing. They weren't lost. I'm pretty sure they didn't know what they were doing. I have no idea. I don't know. We have to talk to. We have to talk about Lee. What's his name again? Lee Erikson. I just did research on it, but apparently I, I don't know anything. So, anyways, uh, also over the break, I got up our. Uh, I became an official Viking. I guess we have an oligarchy, and I put these two wildcard policies because I figured it would just be really fun. Because I never go for these policies, anyways. Uh, I get a bunch of you know double the pillaging bonuses that I would from, uh, from pillaging. <laughs> So, uh, so that'll be kind of cool. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to start to slowly move down. We've got to take care of this encampment. That's really, really important. Oh, yeah, so I can't... It looks like I'm not going to be able to activate this now. Well, that would have been nice. But uh, anyways, oh, that, that, I'm glad that we avoided that confusion. I am so glad we we avoided that. Um, so is there any more room? I've got one, got one settler over here, but of course there are no luxuries over here. So I feel like they kind of want to bait you in. Uh, maybe I will settle exclusively for the whales. Wait, did I already move? How big is this uh, this island on this map? Uh, there are fish. I feel like I kind of... Well, before we do anything, I'm going to get out a lot more Viking longships. I'm about to actually start losing money because uh, my economy is uh, starting to be decimated by all of our military units. But that's okay. That is okay. So, yeah, we're going to obviously go after this city-state next. So, I'm going to go up and around uh, with all of my fresh, um, my fresh boats. And uh, I did kind of, uh, kind of distribute my pr promotions a little bit. Okay, so I didn't, I don't know. Do we get a bonus for attacking? Yes, we do with a battering ram. That's that's good to know. So, um, yeah, okay. I, I I don't I've never really considered that fact before that the battering ram helps out for encampments as well. Uh, but that totally makes a lot of sense there, Drew. So I probably should have figured that out. Okay, so let's take this over. Very nice, and we got ourselves a builder out of it, out of it as well. So now we can kind of just walk into the city. Uh, let's just kind of slowly push people forward. Uh, some people still need to heal, so you you back away. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and I've got even more actually coming for reinforcements. We're going to uh, repair the dies, and I believe that should be an extra amenity for us. Uh, we also have another pair of dies from this city state, so that will be that'll be good. And pretty much the basic strategy here is just to invade. The British Isles from the north down. And uh, that should be pretty... I think it should work. I think it should work pretty well. Also, I don't know if we've, we've gone over the score just yet. But um, I'm going to be winning the game. Uh, Francia. This is basically Germany from what people are telling me. I mean, kind of. It looks like it's France, Drew. I don't know. Uh, they're leading the game. So we will want to launch some sort of invasion on Utrecht here. So at least we have... You know, we start to engage the AI a little bit. Trying to kind of try to stop them in terms of score from pulling too far out ahead. All right, so my battering ram, I guess, should go here, and we will get you guys ready. Um, and I'm slowly taking my time getting over to Ireland. Oh, my goodness, that's not good. Uh, has that guy been there for a long time? How long has he been there? That's not fair. Nobody told me this. Okay, we also need to bring a lot more ships. Please tell me I'm building ships. I've Okay, yeah, I am building ships. Oh, I'm, yeah, I am building ships. Next turn, I'm going to get two more. Perfect. We've got to do something about these guys here. This is not going to be good. Um, and then these guys are coming. All right, that's that's good. Uh, I got myself out another builder. 
Um, I don't really know what to do with this guy besides maybe send him to some of the some of the new worlds Somewhere in the new world or you know what maybe we can go over here. Let's just go over there for now Yeah, let's do that and uh, I'm gonna start sending this boat back because we've already discovered what we needed to discover I, I guess I mean I could continue to go forward. Maybe I will Yeah, before I activate this guy. I actually am gonna send him down a little bit further south I don't know if they'll allow me to colonize it that how awesome would that be though? Oh, that'd be so awesome if they let me colonize it. You'd think they'd make that really hard. I guess the hard part about it would be because it would take a long, long time. How would they attack? Oh, okay. They're attacking me with the city's bombardment. I got confused there for a second. I was like, wait a second. You can't do that. You're, you're a land unit. All right. So let me uh, get over there. Let me get you right here. Can I get any kills? Um, I should be able to get at least one kill. This is good. All right, so I'm going to get right here, and then boom, with you, I'm going to get right there. All right, all right, we're making some progress. I like it, I like it. If we, because we didn't want this city-state, obviously, to reinforce, if we got, if they, if you got all those units back on land, that would have been a problem. That would have been a big, big, big problem. Um, so, I'm glad that we're more than likely going to stop most of them, I think. Uh, geez, see, I don't need this stuff, man. I don't really, I mean, I guess I can continue to spam... Because the reason why I'm able to build them so fast is I've get, I'm getting a production bonus. So that is, uh, that's a positive thing. Um, we, I mean, I guess I'm going to go with the one more batch of them all around. And, uh, oh, I am building. Oh, I got a, I have a settler. Okay, so I, oh, you know what? That might be where Denmark is going. They might be going for Iceland. That would be pretty smart of them, I think. That'd be pretty smart of them. We don't necessarily need a harbor. They both ultimately give me a, uh, well, and there's no adjacency bonus here in the Baltic Sea, so, yeah, I'm going to just build this here. Isn't there a better tile, Drew? Yes, there is. Uh, we'll build in the Tundra. That's that's fine, I guess. Um, and you should get a promotion so you're ready, fresh, ready to go. Combat strength versus melee and range units. Uh, combat strength when defending. Nope, no nope, battle cry. Battle cry always. That's the way to go. We still need to repair a few, which is actually not going to cost any action points. So I might be able to send one of these units over towards uh, our new city in Ireland, which I am still a little bit concerned about. So you should have negative one amenity. Good. So the dyes did, in fact, um, help us out. So we get another source of dyes, and we'll be really, really good. Um, okay, so you are a better defender. I want to put my uh, berserkers here on the front lines. Yeah, we gotta, we got to put the Berserkers here on the front line. So I think we're going to take this turn off. Or maybe I can put you there. Yeah, we'll put you there and then you... Uh, we'll skip your turn. There we go. Having two battering rams really only means that I can maybe technically try to do two different sieges at once. Uh, that might not be a terrible idea. Oh, you we already had someone coming over here. I didn't even realize that. Um, okay, well we need this... Here, let's go after... Let's go after the deers. Yeah, let's go after the deers, and uh, we've got more boats coming. Hold on, do we want this guy to still... Where'd that builder go? The one I said. It said it was going to take like nine turns. Oh, here he is. Okay, never mind. Scratch that, scratch that. Do you want to remove this? I'm kind of down. What's underneath this? That's a hill. We could throw a mine on it instead, so less food. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now, because I realized that going through the tech tree, um, we don't get lumber mills. Uh, until, well, we will. Never mind. <laughs> uh, that's another crack moment, I guess. So, uh, we will eventually get lumber mills, but, um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not worried about my core cities. Scandinavia doesn't typically sport the, uh, the best of, of yield, I guess, in, uh, in most games, Civ included, and, and Paradox games. So, I'm not really looking to, uh, upgrade these guys too, too much. I guess we'll build walls because I don't really know what else to build from you. I get, and we might even do some of those lower um, production in the in the in the window, the lower tab, if if that makes any sense. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I know I sound crazy right now, but I promise I I know what I'm I know what I'm thinking. Okay, so I don't know now. I am actually thinking of uh, actually going forward up here. Hold on. Okay, so there's another source of whales. All right, let's do it. I think because where is hmm, we? I think we can get there before. I think we can get there before Denmark. I'd rather settle up here because I'm I'm lacking amenities, and uh, maybe I can distract. 
that settler around a little bit too. Okay, hold on. Let me let's get a thousand VPs real quick. So anywhere would have been fine. Yeah. So this is they're not gonna allow me to colonize. That'd been kind of cool. When adjacent to Vinland, earn 500 gold and victory points based on order of activation. We are number one, so that should be 1,000 VPs. Give it to me, baby. Hey, what is that? What is this? Okay, it should be, it'll probably be next turn. Yeah, it, I think it goes by uh, each turn. Okay, well, it looks like there was no extra land for us to have colonized. That would have been kind of cool, though. But at the same time, like... It's only turn 29. I probably could have colonized. I could have just sent that settler straight to the New World. We could have colonized North America by, like, before turn 1000 AD. That would have been a little crazy. A little crazy. All right, so, yeah, let's uh, let's send you back over this way, too, because we do need a little bit more support. I hope that these guys don't rush back onto the land. Good. Good. They're dumb. They didn't. Okay, so hack silver. That's good. Hack silver. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Well, nonetheless. Okay, so I think I will go for this. Uh, gold and great general points, gold and great admiral points. Uh, we don't. There, there are there great merchants now. No, there's no great merchants. All right, so give me uh, this and the great general points. And uh, oh, there we go. We got another. How many more? Oh, we just got access to two more trade routes. That's perfect. How did we get that? And let me make sure I got the score. Nice. All right, so we do want to go to war with Francia here because they are going to be kind of a problem. They're still not too far behind us, which is kind of scary. Um, if I were to attack now, oh, I'd get my butt kicked. Okay, so don't do that. Um, you are fresh. Uh, let me move you with us. So if I were to attack, how much damage can I can do? A lot of damage. Perfect. Perfect. That is beautiful. Very nice. Okay, so let's put up another berserker. Um, yeah, let's go with you there, and let's go with you. Let's see here. Do we want to stop any sort of Reinforcements. Yeah, there's nothing over here. There's a ton of monasteries, though. Look at all this. I'm going to pillage the crap out of this, out of these guys because I'm going to get a ton of yields from uh, from our government, basically. So that's what we want to do. We need to stop everyone here that we can. I might slowly try to adjust them downward. Denmark, do something about these guys here, man. Come on. Come on, Denmark. You got you to gotta do something here. Okay, so there's some more great admiral points. Um, looks like I'm going to have to take probably all of my naval hits on these units here. Boom. Nice. Uh, I'd like to attack this city. No, I don't want to attack the city. Let's let's take this guy down. Well, can you do uh, much of anything else now? No. Okay, so we'll wait one, one more turn and uh, the city will be ours. And we will continue to raid their coast. Let's skip this. And... Um, no, you can stay there. I mean, I guess I can kind of move you down further. Again, we do want to ultimately be able to uh, wage two separate sieges at once since I have two of, two of these battering rams. So that's kind of what I want to do ultimately. Um, this berserker has to stay there. And let me wake this guy up and do something with him. Yeah, so we need to repair a few things. So let's go repair it right here. You can skip that turn. and uh, And then you heal. Nice. Okay, let's push you forward, and we are we're we're good. Oh, you gotta repair this. This can these are gonna be pretty good cities. These ones out here uh, in the British Isles are gonna be pretty good cities for us, so that'll be nice. Uh, bam! Yeah, give us those production. Even though production-wise we're doing great, don't think we necessarily need it. Wow, we have a very very big navy. That is that is good. Although the Viking longships aren't the strongest, we won't necessarily be able to siege a ton of cities out. That's still okay. Okay, who else are you? Okay, I'm also going to... I know there's nothing... There's nothing theoretically should be over here, but I do want to discover Iberia, see what's going on over there, kind of figure out what, what is happening. Okay, so let's get a promotion. Battle cry, thank you. Next turn. All right, so we're losing 2.6 gold per turn. That is not very good. Uh, I'm actually going to get another trade route opportunity after my uh, city just north of Sweden finishes up. All right, so let us... Hmm, there's not an easier way. Okay, well, hold on. Before I do that, uh, can you move you... Is this open terrain? Yes, okay. So I want to move the battering ram there because I think all adjacent units, it's got to be, you know, you got to be adjacent, I think. Nice. Okay, so you're done. And let me switch spots with you because you still have a move. There we go. Dang, I guess it won't be this turn. 
I mean, I guess I could... No, no, it won't be this turn because I've got to still destroy this guy. He's not going to use his knight, it doesn't look like, which is a big mistake on his part. Bam. And, uh... I, wait a second, you're not going to get hit. Yeah, okay, so I, I can I can afford to take this shot. I can actually afford to take this shot, too. They're just going to have to sit and heal for a little bit. Boom, let's do it. Nice. All right, I will take that. Good job. Okay, let's get another trader out. And uh, with my battering ram, I'll try to get you slower. So I will be able to do two sieges at once. What I'm going to do is it will just split up between these two because... Uh, yeah, I had to kind of force myself into a little corner here. Now, what I want to do is I need to start bringing over a few ships back towards the western side of the British Isles because uh, we will need a little bit of naval support from both sides. Yeah, so if I have five ships over here, around five ships, that should be good enough. Should we wait? Let, yeah, let's wait. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this builder on some of these four tiles and then we'll, we'll wait to see what we want to do next. You know, maybe I should stop trading with myself. Because there's, I don't need the production. You know what? I am. I'm going to start sending them out to, to get more gold back for us. Because the more gold I hold on to, the better, baby. The better. There's no, uh, there's nothing I need to buy either, right? Because that's the only thing I'd really do with my gold at the moment is buy extra tiles. I wouldn't mind buying the wheat. Um, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. 120. We're going to grow towards that in one turn. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's grab the wheat. Bam. All right, so let's grab that. And, uh, we might even want to purchase a... Oh, you might just be settling on one of these islands. I'm totally cool with that. Leave Iceland to us, though. Iceland has got to be us. Isn't it typically Denmark's, though? In, uh, in IRL? I don't know. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to continue to send you down this way. I need... You actually need to come with these guys. Because I'm sending too far back. Too many back away. Okay, you heal. And now this city should be ours. Muhahaha. It, it took it took long enough. Definitely. Okay, so boom, let's throw a farm right there. And uh, let's prepare you. So do we see anything over here? Nope, that is it. Okay, good. So we can go to the next turn. Please, please. Please just let me go to the next turn. I'm just trying to go. Okay, you know, I, I, I'm going to discover a little bit of Iberia. Do I get any VPs for going to Byzantium? I don't think it's going to Byzantium, but it would be good to know them. I, but I know generally where where they are. Development of uh, monotheism has developed. Oh, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, domestic trade routes uh, plus two faith. I don't see why I'd want that. Not yet, at least. We don't need this anymore. Um, is there something that gives us more gold or something? Can I get... Um, here, I'm going to move this up. I haven't even really done any pillaging, which is, which is not really good. Production towards encampments, production towards builders. Give me gold per trade route. There we go. Give me a little bit more gold. That's what I'm. That's what I'm feeling. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop right there though. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Uh, we are about to finish off this city state. We're gonna take over these two. I don't know what I'm gonna do about Wint, Wint, uh, Wintaster, Winton, Seast. I don't know what that. Well, I don't know what that is. But uh, that's just gonna be a tough city to siege either way. That's why I'm saying that. But we might just go after um, modern day France, basically. I think there's going to continue to be a lot of war in this series and especially in future videos because we're really starting to amass a military here and uh, and with the new trade routes we'll be able to get up even more units so that should be pretty fun. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.